Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Well, we all know about what the current condition is like outside and we of course have to work too. Office calls have moved from the boardroom to the online space now with video calls for meetings and even kids getting their experience of how they're going to spend their adult lives via online classes. As my son has classes online and he has my webcam, I wanted to get him one and take mine back. So I have the Rapu C260, a full HD 1080p webcam. Let's see if this one is any good. Webcams on laptops are quite bad. Not sure why they still integrate 720p webcams in this day and age. It's fine I guess for normal office calls, but I of course wanted something with more quality. So here I have the Rapu C260 Full HD 1080p webcam. Price on the box is marked as 3999, but it's available on Amazon for around 3200 rupees. Nothing much on the other sides of the box. Let's get it out and check it out. There we go. We have an instruction manual, moderately detailed. And here's the camera. Nothing else in the box, so off it goes. Here's the webcam, massive lens in the front with the Rapu branding on the base. HD 1080p marked next to the lens so that you don't forget. Here's the Logitech C920 next to the Rapu C260. Hmm, quite similar naming scheme I guess. The mics on the Logitech look bigger and we'll have to check the quality between the two. I'm happy that it has a microphone in the first place, eliminating the need to have a microphone connected separately. Let's see how long the cable is, if it's long enough. It's USB plug and play as Windows takes care of it and if you're connected to the internet. Viewing angle is 95 degrees, which is super wide, which can be a boon or a curse if you don't want your dirty room to be in view that is. A mounting mechanism similar to the Logitech C920 with the rubberized grip to stay put on the monitor. A tripod screw mount is available below if you want to use a tripod instead. The top of the camera can swivel and looks to be able to move around 360 degrees as it's not connected to the main wire. This is something the Logitech cannot do. Let's get the protective film off and check the quality of the video. So let's check out the quality of the video shall we? And I have the Logitech C920 which is this camera here and the C260 by Rapu over here. Color wise, I think it's quite good on the Rapu and the quality is also pretty good. It's recording at 1080p on the Rapu, which is quite nice also. And the audio quality, actually the audio is coming from the Blue Yeti mic. So this is not the actual audio quality that you're going to get from the camera. And um, let's check out autofocus maybe. So this is the camera right in front of the Logitech and the Logitech slowly comes back to me. Now let's check out the Rapu. I don't think it can focus that close. It does have autofocus actually. So um, I think what look at the field of view also. The Apu has quite a big field of view, whereas the Logitech C920 doesn't have as much, which is surprising. I expected the Logitech to trounce this camera, but I have a feeling the colors actually look better on the Rapu than the Logitech itself. Video wise, their color is not perfect. I would not say the colors are perfect on the Rapu, but it's still nice. It's not, a, it's a pleasing image. Okay, now what I've done is I have actually added a studio light on now here. I, uh, if it's helping anything, I still look, it still looks like the Rapu looks better. The colors are more natural, I guess, on the Logitech. But the Rapu at quarter the price is not bad also. So you can actually see the differences between the two. It's your choice now, which one is better? Rapu is oversaturated, so you have to make sure that you understand that because just look at the color difference between the curtains on the uh, Logitech and on the Rapu. This is the quality of the audio on the Logitech C920. Let's see how good the audio is. So this is the quality of the audio on the Rapu C260. Let's see how good it is. I'm surprised with the quality of the Rapu C260 camera and the colors are a bit more saturated but it's still pleasing to look at. 
the ease of installation allowing most non techies just to plug and play using it for their calls or for their children to access their online classes this looks like a really great option the inbuilt microphone is also a boon as we don't need to add another external microphone and it is omnidirectional too i did see a few frame drops and the frame rate changes dynamically as per the lighting conditions dim lighting also did not affect the image quality much Totally easy to recommend for your video conferencing needs and at a great price to boot. If you have any questions, do write in to us at tech@talkingstuff.net or WhatsApp me at 9652578833. Also make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be informed when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.